Welcome back to another Project Rebirth Review. Today we're going to review the Batman Men's BAT9062 Analog Watch. And uh, this is a watch that I had purchased on Amazon. But I believe it's available at uh, Kohl's and other, uh, uh, other merchants. But I got mine originally for 20 bucks, and now it's even cheaper uh, for $16.99 on Amazon. And it's really easy to find. I'll show a clip of the uh, uh, search on Amazon for it. But uh, if you just search Batman Watch on Amazon, it's the uh, uh, currently the fifth choice, but certainly will be probably within the top five or top ten uh, uh, search results on Amazon. Uh, here, it, uh, this is what the, uh, uh, the front of the uh, uh, it's a round box or a cylinder box that the uh, uh, watch comes in. Here's the front, and on the top lid is a, uh, uh, the Batman symbol. And opening up the watch, uh, this is there's another symbol, and it's hard to see, but it's like a probably like a skyline for Gotham City to look like the uh, bat signal in the sky, and there's skyscrapers, and there's the watch itself. And uh, I gotta say that uh, this watch I've received more compliments on it than any watch that I've ever owned in my entire life. And uh, you know I'm a grown man, and uh, it's a cheap, uh, a cheap watch. Like I said, uh, I paid 20 bucks. And if you were to go out and uh, you know just try to replace a band for your watch, uh, a normal band, probably bare minimum you'd be paying around uh, you know $22. Likewise, you know if you were to try to purchase a, a new battery for your watch, probably you're in that uh, um, you know 15 to 20 dollar mark for that. So this is actually. All things considered, really a, a disposable watch. If the battery goes dead on it, you could, uh, uh, or if the band were to break, you could go out and just buy a brand new one. But uh, like I said, this watch uh, gets a lot of uh, a lot of compliments, a lot of smiles, and it's a it's a fun watch. Uh, I wear it with my uh, uh, my suit and dress shirts to work, and uh, you know I think it's it's nice enough that it doesn't. Uh, you know, look, uh, you know, too cheap or, or bad in that circumstance, and certainly it's fun to wear, you know, when you're just, uh, um, you know, going out casually, you know, with the t-shirts and shorts, that kind of thing. Um, you know, uh, it, it is a, a neat uh, attention-grabbing watch. We'll get it out of the box. So here's a closer look at the uh, the front of the watch. Um, you know, there's no uh, no numbers, just the, uh, the dots for the nine six. Um, I'm sorry, 12, 6, uh, 9, and 3 uh, number positions. There is a uh, numbers on a, uh, a benzo, benzo uh, as if it were a uh, rotating uh, benzo. But the, you know, the, the only complaint I have about this is that it's fake. So this uh, benzo doesn't move at all. It is just for uh, decorative purposes. But uh, you know, that's a minor complaint. Uh, there is some luminous paint on these hands, and uh, some reviewers said that it worked nicely for them, but. Really, I would not expect it to see the watch hands at uh, at night. And there is a rotating, uh, besides the minute and uh, hour hands, there's a rotating second uh, hand in, in red as well. There's these little metal uh, um, decorative pieces on the watch. And just a normal, uh, you know, clasp on the uh, the back. What I like about this, uh, the rubber is, uh, you know, very soft and, and flexible. So it's very comfortable to wear. Um, I've had some other uh, uh, watches with plastic bands where it's a little bit more rigid or less comfortable. And, uh, you know, I have this on my wrist, and I'll put it on in a second. Um, you know, even though uh, uh, you know, I've got somewhat bigger wrists, um, there's still room to spare. So this is truly, you know, some watches uh, claim to be for, for adults as well, too, but really are more like a, like a kid size. But a, an adult could uh, certainly wear this, uh, this watch comfortably. So in conclusion, I've had mine, um, I think maybe about a year. The band's still in great shape. Uh, it looks good, no, no scratches. Uh, in comparison, I had the uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. watch that uh, you know, I wore just a couple times and the uh, you know, marks on the, the front were getting scratched um, due to, I think, a, a poor, uh, you know, poor paint job on that. But this uh, is a, uh, you know, it's a fun watch. It, it's uh, kept good time. 
Uh, it's been accurate. It, it's not, uh, you know, not loud. Sometimes cheaper watches tick very loudly, and that's not the case with uh, with this one at all. And uh, you know, I got to say that uh, you know I would easily uh, be very happy to pay. You know, not that I want them to really raise the price or anything, but uh, I would have gladly paid, you know, uh, thirty, forty, maybe even fifty dollars for this watch and felt that I got uh, a good deal. Although maybe at that price, I would want an actual. A rotating bezel because I think if that, that if that were the case this would really be a, a perfect watch but uh, uh, despite the, not having the uh, the rotating bezel it's, it's a great watch it would make a, a great birthday or Christmas present or you know at, at uh, 17 bucks hey uh, you know I'm just thinking about you you know uh, you know kind of gift and of course you can always buy it for yourself and it uh, you won't regret it so enjoy and I'll see you next time